Hello, sisters and brothers. Uh, today, just a reminder <laughs> that uh, that sometimes we get this sort of spiritual poor self-image. Yeah, that, uh, well, if, if God's really wants uh, uh, to have people uh, participate in his kingdom, do uh, great work in his kingdom, well, they're, they're special people, right? They're people who uh, they know a lot, or they're really super gifted, or uh, they're just way more spiritual than we are. And uh, Acts 14, there's this moment when uh, two of Jesus' uh, first trainees, right, Peter and John, um, they they have uh, been showing and telling the good news, and uh, they had um, uh, uh, people have been starting to join in. It's about five thousand people at this point, uh, and they had healed a man. So they get called in, right? Because how dare they heal a man? Right? And, uh, and they, so they are called in uh, to the elders and teachers of the law and they're asked, hey, well, well, by what power, what name did you do this? Uh, and so they speak up. Remember, they've been trained by Jesus, right? They, these are fishermen. And, and that's what, that's what uh, uh, these, uh, this ruling council sees. They see just kind of rough and tumble fishermen. And yet they speak up and say, hey, rulers and elders of the people, if we're being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame and are being asked how he was healed, then, then know this. You and all the people of Israel, it is by the name of King Jesus of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead that this man stands before you healed. <laughs> right? uh, they're just willing to give a straight answer. Right? in a solid one, and a bold one. And uh, after saying a little more, the, uh, uh, the leaders here, they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized they were, here's the line, unschooled and ordinary men, but they were astonished. And they took note that these men had been with Jesus. Here's the thing. Uh, Jesus just invited them, right? He said, come follow me. And I'll train you to be like me and do what I do, to be fishers of men and women. <laughs> and so uh, you and I have the same invitation. Jesus wants to train us. He does it in community. He does it. He's training us as his disciples, his trainees. He's training us to be like him and do what he does. And he's sending us out to live like missionaries, make disciples make disciples as unschooled, ordinary women and men. We don't have to be experts. Uh, we don't have to be great. Uh, we just simply, uh, we just simply want to be a people who sit at His feet and allow Him to train us. <laughs> and so, um, be encouraged today. Uh, there's nothing more you need, right? We have each other. We have Him. Father, thank you uh, that we don't have to be special. That uh, we can be unschooled and ordinary people, but we pray, we pray as we are with you, we get to be with you as we are with you, uh, that the people around us take note that we are with you, that we have been with you, that we're being trained by you. So um, let people see you as we go about our day. And thank you for being our king. Amen. Grace and peace, friends.